My kid stole one of my watches already. Oh, uh. That's a shame. I, well, it, was let me great, it was actually watches. a great feeling because, like, he was going to his senior yeah. prom and he's like, "Can I wear one of your watches?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's kind of cool that you want to wear one of my watches." So, like, oh, that makes I gave good. him one of my older Rolexes that you know it was cool. It was like it was awesome. And all of a sudden, like two months later, I'm in my draw. Like, where the hey. hell's my Rolex? <laughs> the little oh, bastard sorry. never gave it back. <laughs> The other thing I think about, and one of the things is funny, because like when I first started in pre-owned, most people bought pre-owned because it was value. Yeah. You know, you didn't buy the new one because you could get a better deal on the pre-owned, or they didn't make it anymore, and it dropped in value. Yeah. And it was, you know, a lot of time value shopping was part of pre-owned. Right. And you know, you didn't mind because it was cool, but it was right. awesome, but it was a great deal, so you went that route. You can still do it for 85% of the watches. You can. So one of the things we're going to talk about tonight, and it's a good segue for us, is we've got four watches up the front, which we are calling hot watches. So these are all watches that are now trading well over retail. Yep. Um, Very well. New goods are almost impossible to get. And, you know, they are probably some of the watches we get the most calls on every day. Every day. So every it's like every day, day every we get a call day. for a CB, we get a call for 5167, Daytonas, NAPs. I mean, it's just, again, we talked about it last week. The field is narrowed. Everything's, you know, wants the same thing, and this is what it is. So what we thought about doing was, or we're going to take a look at these watches and then also look at what alternatives yep. are if you're going to spend this kind of money. So the first one we've got, Chrono Metro Blue. You guys can take a nice look at that. How Amazing dial. Yeah. yeah. How could you go wrong? Can't go wrong. Awesome piece. Um, just amazing. Now, the thing that I don't like about it is it is the most widely produced Jorn there is. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I remember the numbers. I think he made 727 watches last year and he yep. made 100 and plus of these. Yeah. So it is the most common Jorn, which is hard to say because right. it's the most difficult one to get or one of them for sure. Well, it seems to be that the ones that they make a ton of are the ones that everyone wants. <laughs> <laughs> Which but it's is, not I don't know like what the that. logic is there. Just, well, I mean, it's take like this off the table now. Right. <laughs> exactly. I think a lot of brands, it's like people say that, but it's like a lot of like Daytonas, steel Daytonas, they don't make tons and tons, right. even though everybody wants it. So I mean, I don't know if they always do that, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's an amazing piece. But nowadays, it's mid 40s to 50 grand. Yeah. Right. For a watch that used to be their entry level twenty thousand dollar piece. Yeah. Yeah. So what retails what twenty three? The sad thing is, is about, right? I have no idea anymore what the yeah. retail <laughs> is. <laughs> I believe it's roughly around twenty four nowadays. Okay. It got jacked up, but it's like uh, I think we saw two of them new last year. It's like where do you see them? I mean, it's just right. you're not going to get them new, um, so it's almost irrelevant. But the market's been moving up fast on the pre-owned. Um, extremely fast. Extremely fast. Yeah. So we pulled out an alternative, which I think is just amazing. So I'm sure most of the Jorn guys know this, but uh, they used to do, just for their espaces, um, black labels. So the black label pieces were only available if you had an espace or a boutique, um, made very few of them each year. And this is the rose gold, uh, which is just that great color rose. Uh, I love on the black dial, so it's limited. I mean, maybe there's 10 of these out there. Yeah. Maybe there's 20 ever made. That's that's the play. For people who are looking for Jorn, right? Right now, um, I think to, to the Chronometric Blue sort of brings people in because people recognize the watch and they understand what it is. And there's a lot more press and it feels like everybody knows about it at some level. Right. The boutique edition pieces aren't really in the forefront. And you can, I think it, this is the value play without, without, without a doubt. Uh, without yeah. because a doubt. Once, and and the, these boutique pieces are discontinued. Correct. They so don't now, so now right. you say, let's say there's, and there are examples of these boutique pieces where, you know, the Cenograph's 18. So Cenograph's 18, maybe they did 20. Let's call it the number under 20 on that. You're talking about uh, a total production of the Chronometric Blue of possibly somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 1600. The entire time. I've heard the number thrown out there. Could be a little bit off, but if they're doing 100 watches a year, then you're you're looking at, I mean, the much the wider production. You're never going to see. You may never right. ever see that watch on somebody else's wrist. So I think that's a great play, um, and it's it's just you know this is one of those opportunities that you can get into the brand without having to pay a premium. But if you are 
somebody who's conscious on value long term, I, I don't see why this. Oh, I think it's a uh, great long term play. Yeah, and, and at it's the end of the day, wonderful. it's beautiful. It's wonderful. I mean, it's funny because we pulled it out of the vault today, yeah. and it was nice. And I think you picked it up, and it was like, that's kind of cool. We'll talk about this one. And we brought it out in the light here, and oh yeah, my god, we were god. talking about yeah, how yeah, see it's it so much website, better. You see it in photos. Yeah. No, it's, it's got much charm, better in but person. When you see it in person, I mean, it. And I don't know what it is, but it's true. The tear dial having the the hand done centerpiece of it is just like, you know. It gives it all the character in the world. Don't get me wrong from a price and pound per perspective here from what tantalum, from this dial, from the exclusivity, I get it, I understand it, but there's something about this piece that brings so much more to the table. Uh, and, and it's at, 15 grand cheaper. At the, <laughs> at the price point, yeah, exactly, at the price point. At the price point, point I think it's things it brings. Yeah, it brings, exactly. No, I mean, no, I think in two years we'll be looking at this piece going, oh shit, we should have grabbed one. Right, right. Yeah. no, this I, is a subtle, exactly. subtle sleeper. Yeah. At least in my personal opinion, I no, apologize, no. but no. No, I, I think I, you're right, you know, I, I like that one a lot. Yeah. All right, so that was our Jorn story. So the, the next one we move out to the one is, uh, Again, you're really gonna get me started, and I <laughs> always repeat myself. You want the, it? The beautiful Aquanaut. I don't even want to touch you, it if I don't it? have to. You, sure, you don't <laughs> want it? You don't want it? <laughs> I will hold it up so everybody right, can there see. You go. Look at the beautiful Aquanaut. Uh, Please hey. introduce it, Mike. Uh, yeah, with the tire tread and the... I, I just don't get it. I really don't. I mean, I get I it at 19,000. I get it at 19,000, but I didn't even get it then because it's like, I don't know, right. it's just... Sport watch to me, and again, maybe because I have a big wrist, maybe I'm used to wearing Rolex. I like bigger yeah. watches. I like something yeah. that feels like it's got some presence to it. And I've always felt like it's delicate. Right. Um, I mean, this I know, this is me, a no, this one makes me feel very similar to the <laughs> Exactly. exactly. Just, yeah. Yeah. Like the I got this covered, yes. That. It's the same band, I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> These, <laughs> what? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the movement, but I mean, it's again, it's a steel three hand on a rubber strap that I just don't think is terribly attractive. It's even worse on the bracelet, if you ask me. Um, well, to, here, so here's the, the difference. Let's, to backtrack quickly, this is the experience that I've had with people who are collecting and, and customers of mine that I know. It's like, look, this and a lot of the steel pieces that we saw on the market were their way over. A lot of that is the speculation game. People were taking the watches, they were hoping they'd make money on them, flipping them. This watch happened to be over because it ended up in homes and people just wanted to own it. Exactly. They I, agree. And, I agree. I agree. People, so I mean, this, people do fall in love with they the fell, They fell in love with the watch and they wanted it. So, right. so there's two different elements to like the way people, why the prices are going up. This one, everybody knows if you followed pricing on this watch over the last couple of years, you know that the watch has gone from retail, even right. a few years ago below retail. It used to sit in the case. It used to sit in the case. Used yeah, in the secondary no market is, is below retail. Now it's still essentially double that price, you know, 30, 35, whatever the price is at the moment. But gives you opportunity to look elsewhere for the same amount of money. If you don't want a three-hand sports watch from Paddock, you've got other opportunities, but you have a 30, $35,000 budget. We have some other lovely options Correct. that will separate you from the, the pack. What a segue, cool. John. I have, <laughs> it's a good segue. I have time and date only mean. at this price point on this type of strap, yet for that type of money. Right, so we brought out a couple of things that are kind of cool and we went in the different directions. So this is Laurent Ferrier, um, who happened to be one of their head watchmakers at Patek Philippe for a number of years. Um, so this probably, He'll be cringing when we're comparing it to a 5167, but that's okay. It's um, only a price point. It's, it's only a price point. Only a price point. To, so literally, it is the, uh, about $1,000 cheaper. It is white gold, and it has, I mean, again, spectacular. spectacular movement. I mean, anybody who's played with one of these, looked at one of these, it's the coolest micro rotor I've seen. Yep. The fit and finish is amazing. And I think when we met with him last year, I think he said, 130 yeah. pieces per, last per year. year, right? Yeah, right. I mean, it's it's crazy. nothing. It's nothing. And then nothing. Mike John compared that to the production on. And while I know that it, it is small, but what is the output on sports models from Pat? That's Pat got to be a lot. Versus, it's got to be a lot. I mean, they're doing Ferrier. 60 thousand oh, watches a year. There's no right. comparison. I mean, it's, do you want exclusivity? Do, 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 do that's that's you the just question. Want something that do you is, want the exclusivity? Do you want right. something that's going to be you're not going to see on everybody else's wrist sure. within within sort of that collecting community. Oh, I think would you like other people to recognize it or do you want them to have to look twice? Easy. Well, so, so I mean, th there's something to be said about that because I know a lot of people who, who buy 
particular watches that are like, look, I'd rather somebody doesn't know what I'm wearing. Right. A lot of that. Right. And again, I think right. we deal with that same, we come from that yep. same background. Yep. I think we're a little more conservative, a little more, you know, there's under nothing the radar. Wrong with nothing wrong with that. that. No. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I said that wearing a Pepsi too. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, you just cool. bought that thing from across the street. But right? I mean, I just Fair think, enough. and I don't even know what they call this dial. I mean, it's just beautiful. Though. It is. Uh -huh. I, I don't know what they call the dial either, but the chances of seeing more than one of those, yeah. one of these, or a handful of these dials anywhere in the world is probably nothing. I mean, there's yeah. there's got to be you know, call it under twenty. And to that point, we have one that, in theory, I was told is a one of, with the red, um, same watch with just an amazing red dial that I think. And is it's got to be. I mean, we've done we've, we've done, done one of. You've done, done a couple I've of. I've done them. a couple of one of. You've done a couple of one ofs, and he does do that, which is does. cool too, because. Yes. You know, historically, the really fine watchmakers used to do yep. exclusive, you know, right. made to order, we'll do it for you, why not? Um, the big houses obviously got away from that because they wanted to be production, but you know, he still does that kind of stuff. That is very cool. It's, it's incredible. I posted on Instagram, it was one of like the most interactive uh, Instagram post I had and somebody made the comment, don't spill the dial because it looks like a glass burger. Yeah. Like it's the, it's like, it's uh, Red wine. It's just there's hard to describe. It. You it, literally it, have it, to it see it. It almost moves as it does you as you move it. That's exactly. It. Yeah, his yeah, dials are actually. Yeah. You Very did cool. a green one that was just amazing. Yep. I remember it's when still, that came the, in. The first Laurent Ferry I ever saw was the the ice blue dial that he does, and yep. it was love the ice blue. I, I wasn't that familiar with the brand. I'd heard of them, of course. I wow. saw the ice blue one, and it just blew me. I was like, oh yeah, okay. I, get I think it. the first one I ever sold was the blue one, and it had that little luminous track. Oh, yeah, down yeah, at the yeah, bottom. Yeah. Oh my God! I mean, it was just amazing. It's, it's, it's beautiful. World. You know, I mean, yeah. we're obviously we're under we're under artificial light right now. Imagine what it's like. You know, out in the sun. Out in the sun is yeah. gorgeous. Like, right. You actually it, get no. to enjoy I mean, the watch. It, Not here in the sterile environment to talk about. It's it. incredibly sterile. I hate it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's absolutely fantastic. We don't want to get no. into these details. No, no it's, it's late. No, no, <laughs> no it, it takes on so many different hues and so many different colors that it's. No, I think his stuff is amazing. I really do. That that, you know, it's truly, if you don't get it in your hands, you're not truly really going to appreciate the absolute aesthetic, just attraction of this. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, you're well, looking at it like that. that. Put it back. I mean, it's, I just it's, it's, yeah, no, 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 yeah, back. I'm sorry. I don't want to be. I don't want to be right. emotional. No, the about thing I love also but, about it is, I mean, he's not no. a spring chicken. Right. Yep. Exactly. So I mean, he's not going to be doing this forever. Right. Right. Um, and who knows what happens? I mean, let's be honest. When it's you know, either changes hands or we go to a different generation, yep. or it's not. His son's involved in the company. Right. But it's just different when it's yep. the old man. I mean, there's no question about it. So we have hope at least for the upbringing. Upbringing. I didn't know his son was involved. Yeah. I think his son is involved. I hope he's involved. Really? We'll edit that out if it's not. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure he was. I'm, it's I a saw, really good story, though. It's a good story. I'm it. pretty sure he's in there. Maybe it's the whiskey talk. <laughs> so that's why I can't drink with you guys on yeah. camera. I know, but you got the coolest ice cube of all. I do have the yeah, coolest no, ice. Yeah, no, you got the brick ice cube. I love that. All right, don't deviate. All right, all right so we're, we're, we're we got other cool here. things. Here. We're going to the next. Yes. All right, take this. Have you ever heard of Rolex? So Rolex does does this watch called the Daytona. Never heard no, of it. Never if heard of it. You may have not heard of it, uh, but it's a, a chronograph that uh, has a lot of people interested in the brand. <laughs> so, one of the interesting things about Rolex is anybody who's ever tried to buy a Rolex in the last couple of years knows they're almost impossible to get. What's interesting about Rolex is that their precious metal watches now are extremely strong. This watch, the LN on the rubber straps, have always been strong out of the gate when they were introduced a few years ago. Correct. Um, I don't know exactly what the pricing is on it because this one is this right is, around thirty-three. Okay, so it's a bit over the retail price, Correct. even after the new retail. New retail is in the twenty-nine. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I got to um, learn all those retails. I just, yeah, I printed know. something out. I've been lazy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's sorry. I've got it taped to the window. Next Do you really? Time. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I have it on my phone, which is so sad. But I mean, no, <laughs> mine's over there. Over on the window as well. I'm I know. To I used to memorize them all, but now I'm old. Uh, it is cool. I mean, I love the last part. The two beefs I have with Daytona is doesn't have a date. Yeah. Which drives me crazy. And the Tudor chrono they make has That's a date. date. So why not just put a damn date on it? Because I'm a date cripple. Um, the other thing is I just it wears a little small for me. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Now I Mike, love this Terra Luna. I am wearing it. <laughs> well, Forgot. You think this is small with, with a <laughs> it does look like a girl's ball watch wearing, next ball to wearing that. that but please continue. But it does I mean I don't know if you've worn one, but it wears a little small because of the black bezel yeah. and because of the thing. I find that at least. So, I mean, I would love to see it a little bigger, but it, the bracelet and the strap and the arrangement is the best thing that they've done in years. And for 33000 there are like 
just talking about Daytona, there are like old school, like yellow gold Daytonas with different dials that are just out of the control. Would oh, you see the white gold? I don't know if you guys saw the white gold meteorite I picked up no. last yes. week. Oh my Insane. God. I mean, like, I used to see meteorite white golds all the time. Yeah. And oh, right, right, right. You did. You, we, you, we would see them on traps. We You'd see them all the, the time. Yeah, but now and we don't see them as much. You don't anymore. see them as much anymore. And I finally I found one uh, at the Vegas show, and it's awesome. That's great. Yeah. And it actually came on a purple strap, too. Right. I don't know who was matching. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> it was purple strap. It's on a purple strap. I love that. That's I don't know who got it made that way, but it was awesome. That's great. But again, with this with the adjustable class, and it's got the, I mean, I don't know if anybody ever went to the class, but I mean, it's got the little, like, metal that runs through the rubber, so it lasts yes. forever. It's got the f little flap things going on it's there. Extremely it's extremely strong. Yeah, I mean, it's it, really it, well done. It is resilient. It is It's not well like done. a rubber strap that they just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I went nice, back to that. Mike, be nice. <laughs> I have anger issues towards that one. Obviously. No, it's it's very well built. It's very well constructed. You can tell that it was absolutely thought out. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't an afterthought. They didn't just throw it out. I love the fact that they you cannot convert them to a bracelet as no. everybody tries. Right. Uh, because the change the end piece. I get that question every yeah. week. Can I buy the bracelet? Bracelet separate, to go with it. I want to put a strap on my bracelet one. No, no. Sorry. sorry. Of course you cannot. Buy a new one. So it's, no, you gotta get a yeah. different one. Yeah. Correct, yeah. as we are rolling. Yeah. So we had two yeah. options as alternatives on this one, so which is great. So again, we went back to bang. to Longa, 1815 Chrono. Bang, bang. Um, <laughs> I love 1815 Chrono. I the do. only issue yeah. I have is like, I've always been that guy who thought a Longa should have a big date mm. because they kind of invented it. I and it was like that, you know what signature. I mean? It's their thing, signature and their I mean, thing, it, it, but gonna, this is just beautiful. Like, yeah. Blue steel, the numbers. Certainly easy on the eyes, from front and back. Right. Absolutely. It's and it's a thousand bucks more than the Daytona. Right. And I mean, the, when you see the movement on this thing, and I'm sure we've done this a million times. <laughs> yeah, should I bother putting the Daytona case back next to that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to. But. No, and I mean, for this, you know, for where we're here, for the value proposition, and I mean, for what you can spend yeah, this from is around here to that. Amazing piece. So, and, and then Think about let's, what you can get. You can't get sorry, John. So no, no, no. You didn't. I remember cut you off. But what the? So a lot of people are looking for safety in their watches. Right. Correct. They're looking for I'm going to buy this and I'm not going to take a hot bath when I go to trade it in. I've more and more. I just tell people, you know, you you still got to go to what you love first. Right. Like those are what you got to pick out. But you know, don't be in a rush to trade it in. <laughs> right. Three months. <laughs> like well, that's, that's the thing. That's, that's the problem. You're gonna get hit if you go to. Trade no matter it, what you just, buy, just if you're buying it three months later, exactly, you should take a hit. But it's like who, ten years later is what you yeah, gotta be thinking yeah, about. Yeah, enjoy, right, enjoy, right, enjoy, right. enjoy the watch for you know. For, that's the reason we pretend you're gonna give it to your kid. Right. Come into it. You're gonna give it to your kid. That's exactly. Let the kid get like excited about it for a little bit, then jump in. At two years old, I was Philly Thrift, and I got my son a out of Philly Thrift. They had a. Like a 22 millimeter, like 1970s Timex manual wine on a little spider bracelet that awesome. fits Perfect. perfectly. Oh, he wears that's it every awesome. time we go out. Probably a joke. Oh, he loves it. It's great. It's no, like, you got to start him young. There's yeah, no question fun. about it. It was like awesome. six dollars. Yeah, that's what do you say? Perfect investment. Steel. 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 Yeah, and then so, so then we go from. I, I guess so. You have Longa, and then we have Vacheron. Just because right. of the va you want to talk about a value proposition right and now. compared it to yeah. the the Rolex yes. across the board, the brand. Yeah. But this Start particular model, I just freaking I love this model. Yeah. So um, you get their new in-house movement. You get a case redesign a couple years ago. Everything that comes with it, the straps, interchangeable. There's a lot going on with the watch. For the comes thing. with the rubber strap. Comes with the rubber strap. Comes with the bracelet. Comes with that. So you get a lot. So, I mean, there, there's a... There's and that blue is that. hot. The blue is outstanding. I don't know if it's as good as the previous generation blue, but it's pretty damn do good. Do you like the previous one? I better? do. I think really? I do. Yeah. I, I don't know. I was looking at this one today, and this one's pretty damn nice. I don't yeah. mind the new blue. This is... But yeah, sub 20 grand. Sub 20 grand. Um, it's... With all the changeability, comfort, and I mean, arguably, the Vacheron Chrono movements are amazing. Yep. Yeah. No, I agree. And I mean, so, I mean, that is, to me, the ultimate value play we have here. And as opposed to the Rolex, when you buy this one at the boutique or the, the you know, authorized deal, you get it with all the options. <laughs> it comes, yeah, you get it. I mean, there's everything that comes with it, yeah. yeah and then the they do strap, different dials. Get, yeah. Things. yeah. That's good. It's no, a great I think piece. this is extremely handsome, very well executed. Um, I would so why? Subdued. Why though? Why, why nobody? Why, in my personal get, opinion, why is nobody getting behind the brand? That's my issue. Well, you know I mean? What happened to the big three? Well, big so two. 
Exactly. So it was once what? I know, but you look at it this. I look at it this way. It's like you got brands that have come out of nowhere in the last five, ten years, and here you have one of the arguably big three names, and they can't seem to get the cachet together. Yeah, the brand equity is gone. I mean, it, not gone. I should say it's gone. It is could it be. Well, here's here's. I mean, I think this is a real logistical problem. It's distribution. So it's very hard when you've got if you've got a Vacheron in with Paddock, it's tough. Like you right. can't the patrimony. Versus it doesn't Calitrum, sell against it's, each other. That's right. true. Yeah, yeah, right. And right. I think that their distribution might have some issues there globally. Um, some of it's sort of boring. Like, <laughs> do you like the Toledo? <laughs> I do actually. I think the Toledo is one of the most. That annual calendar. I bought I, one a couple uh, months ago. The white I'm just one. talking about like the t- three hander. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I think the watch for the price and what you get three hander, close case back. There's nothing going on. It's not exciting. They just they have watches in their collection that just they they're not. Wh- where's the excitement? It's where's true. the The 56. I agree. Is not. I mean, uh, look at the fit. I mean, yeah. you're. That Where's the exciting? It was like they were like, we got to rush to put out a sports model or right, something and cheap. And make it really cheap. And make it, like, and make know, it just, cheap that was and then take away the quality and do the things that, like, the Geneva seal matters, I think, to, at least on some level. We don't talk about it as much. But if you talk, if you it can explain, matter. it should matter. It should matter that you're talking about, listen, the amount of work that goes into reef, the finishing the watches, the beveling, the black polish, the sun, like, everything, the mirror fit, like, these are important elements to watch making that probably get lost on a, a good portion of people who are yeah, buying and them, even right? that, yeah, you know on, on on our side of the business you ask someone's asking for a vacheron they say is it a geneva seal movement i mean the the two things are almost synonymous with each other yeah. in the same way that paddock's movements are you know right. have their own stamp on it right and it was they, geneva seal before it was the paddock of correct. course paddock but I, you know when no, more modern iterations. great stuff but i did love the i did love the steel triple calendar they did yeah no, that was and that again yeah. it was hot for oh, yeah, like yeah, six no, months a year yep. and then it kind of everybody fell a lot of Right. Attention. Yeah, it, they so. did a couple of, oh, and we were talking about the, which we don't have, and the watch is awesome. The Corn Yes. I love that. Watch yes. is great. The watch is beautiful. Love Stainless that. steel one. Didn't even realize it was on the market. I don't know why. It was probably just, Sexy. you know, life goes by and you just don't realize <laughs> it's happening. I, they do one, and it's, well, I think it's pretty well priced. It's not fantastically it's priced, but. It's a sexy watch. It's good looking. Sexy. 38 and a half millimeters. I apologize. Looking. Sexy lugs. They're sexy lugs. Yeah. The don't lugs push it. Really don't push it. Don't push it. All right, we're going to get to our last right, one. Right, right. So, our last <laughs> one is an AP. <laughs> and it is um, one of the more interesting APs, but literally, this watch is crazy hot. Yep. Uh, crazy hot. Did black ceramic perpetual, and now this is the white ceramic perpetual. Do love the dial. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. But it is. White. It's white. Ceramic. It's really <laughs> white. And, it's really white. And at 150K. Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. It's cool. I love perpetuals, but it's like really. Um, you got me on this one, but this is super hot. So retail again, one one twenty. Low, yeah, low hundreds, and you know, and it's bringing one. way over. Exactly. Uh, because again, very limited production, I mean, very distinctive. So I understand it, but and there's cool things about. It. I mean, obviously, all ceramic case and bracelet. That's. Look, that takes, a, I would imagine, a lot of manufacturing yeah. And I mean, if you know pick how, it, if, right? if you like, pick yeah, the Especially if you're a shoe like Chanel does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. If, if you I mean, Rado? Right. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Did I set that up? You did. I thought I, thought I was just, going to a place that we were going to compliment <laughs> AP for their work. I don't understand the ceramic. Does it do the same thing with the bracelet if you set it down where the steel one's set up? You know how you, you lay it down? And right. It, does, do you think? I think it does. Can we test that on live on camera? Let's see. Yeah. So, uh, steel ones. Dude. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, so it just goes. That's good. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't fall down. Uh, I mean, the sorry, bracelets are fantastic. Uh, All right, so that's our AP, which is very hot, very cool. And now here's our fallback alternative. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Longa, again, classic Dato Perpetual. So, perpetual calendar, flyback chronograph, big date, amazing movement, platinum. 80,000. Just about everything you could ask. And what's the retail? So, no. What so, more retail was 176. Okay. So, basically, what we, the argument we were going to make is you could buy this, you can get this watch, or you can get this watch Plus. and the RS5 to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> can we, let's, let's put, let's put the 2019, I'm sorry, Which 20, is the new car I need. RS5. <laughs> my new version of RS5 and my Longa that I can hang out the window of my RS5. So, <laughs> That's exactly Instead what you of do. my ceramic. Agent. So what more would you want, Mike? 
Well, I don't think my wife would let me get it in red, but it's all right. <laughs> so I'd probably have to go gray again or black, but that would be what I would want. Because I don't think anybody would take me seriously wearing this. That's true. <laughs> I, but, you know what, I'm gonna agree with you. I, I, I can pull that launch off, and I'm wearing a red. You, you are wearing a red. You would have the best shot. No, odds would might be the only one. I almost want to see you wear it. No one takes me seriously <laughs> now. I'll put it on for the camera, now, but now, geez. Now, now put it on. First off, you gotta take out every single link in that no. thing. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't be floating. He has a four inch wrist, but yeah. that's besides the point. But. But isn't that, here, when you do it. Here, let me pull it. Wait, yeah, and we don't do like the. we get a wrist shot of this, I'm pulling it. He's got the Looks. white skin anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look great. I'm basically a floating dial here. Exactly. <laughs> it's like somebody tattooed All a dial on your wrist. All it does is match my turtleneck. <laughs> Actually, I truly believe the longa would look better on you. I would take the longa and the RS5 <laughs> on this. Uh, yeah, I think we're all collectively within agreement on that. You could, look, you look, could I'm a New Yorker, I don't know how to drive, but I can take the car still. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, fair enough. You could pick any uh, a bunch of watches and do that analogy with. It's fun to say, like, this is what you could potentially get right. as an alternative. This watch is priced to compete directly with the 5270. Right. Correct. Right? I mean, that's literally, literally, that's, I got Try that. Literally, you, literally, 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 right there. They compete against it. each other, right? Sure. So, and it the uh, fifty two seventy tends to hold its value a bit more. Uh, it does now with yep. the platinum one yep. for sure. But though, even the white golds have been, yeah. you know, up and down, up and down, without a question, over the last few years. Right. Yeah. And this watch is a tremendous value. Yeah. Tremendous value. I have a customer who has one, and he asks me all the time, like, "What's the market on?" And I'm like. I know it's it's a good buying watch right now. Like it's a, it's a watch, watch to buy. It's a watch you can wear. You can do it every yep. day. We actually sold the rose one last week. I mean, oh, that's we had, great. Exactly. Yeah. yeah which is even off. rarer. You don't see them in rose very often. Right. Um, I prefer the platinum, but it's still a great piece, I mean, and I think it's yeah. and it's a ton this of watch. Is an absolute. It's a ton of watch. Monster of a sleeper. And the other thing I, mean, I love about them is like, they don't they don't have issues. They don't break. They don't. You can bang it around. It's beefy. It's not. It's not delicate, you know, it's a baby to watch. You can really enjoy it. Yes, that's and that's the, the whole point. Whole it's like, wear the damn this. stuff. Okay, now, exactly. This, this is not something to be purchased and put into a box to collect dust. And certainly not to give it to our children. Yes. <laughs> Although we did do that yeah, last time. Yeah, to pry that up your cold dead hands. <laughs> There's no. no way that little bastard's yeah. getting that watch. <laughs> not that one. No, this, this should be worn and enjoyed and appreciated uh, morning and night. Why do you look at the watch and do that? And I'm, just, <laughs> I'm like, the way you, you're like serenading the watch and is, I'm like directly across from you. <laughs> it's making you a little nervous over there? Specifically because, you know what, I'll nerd out. Only because I'm wearing a Hamilton and I have Seikos that I'm appreciating. He's having a moment for sure. The amount, <laughs> it's, like you're, it's the amount of energy that went into something like this, but Bang. It's, well, that's the, that's it. Done, that argument Funny shot. That done, all right, back. John, we're over. Cool. It's great. All right, it's done. It's done, John. Boys, <laughs> I think this was good. I think it was good. I our, think it was good. Our, our value, so, so yeah. in, in sort of wrapping it up, look, there's- In summation. In summation, there are, there's been a push over the last, certainly two, three years, there's watches that everybody wants call it 30 references in the world that people just have to have. Right. And we've seen the market go crazy on it. I think the, for people who are looking for value and who really just want to get badass watches and just tr tremendous stuff to add to the collection, there are alternatives. Yeah, I was gonna say, there are still things yeah. that I, every day I think it's a great buy. I, I just okay. look at every it, like day. it's literally outside those 30 references, everything is, well, it's headed towards better buys, probably. As wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be said. surprised. Yeah. I, we just, I think it's a, it's about education, and I think it's about if you're a collector, just don't go chasing trends. Don't go chase because there are people who have definitely been like, I don't like, I don't like the sub, or I don't like the uh, the GMT Master Two. And then six months later, like, hey, do you have a GMT Master Two? <laughs> no, I don't have a GMT Master Two. And if I do, you're gonna have to pay this crazy premium. Is that really what you want to do? Right. If you're gonna spend eighteen thousand dollars on a watch, is that the watch you want to spend eighteen grand on? Do you actually want right. that? Right. There's yeah. many other things. Or, there's or, again, there's keep your options open. Else. Yeah. Look at ideas. See what else is out there. And absolutely. I'll take a play from John. Right. Buy what you like. Buy what you like.
Are That's you going to enjoy it, or are you going to show it off to your friends? <laughs> Depends on what you want to do. Hopefully do do? both. Oh, yeah, hopefully both. I mean, well, that's I am the, enjoying it. Exactly. That's the right, that's the right <laughs> combo. Enjoy it. <laughs> Look, nobody wants to, like I said, nobody wants to take a bath on their watches. Totally understand it. If you're in, in it for the long term and you're curating your own collection, you know, find the best stuff. It doesn't have to be the most over piece in the world. Right. It could just be, like, this is one of the best watches ever made. Yes. And sleeper, and, and no sleeper. one knows That's about it. No one and knows. it's available. No one this, has the appreciation. This, look, all these are fantastic watches. Not taken away from any sure. of them sitting here. Sure. But this back half of the of the board, these Explorers. are some of the best watches in the world. Like they genuinely are. Like this isn't us just up here. No, oh, no, no. We're telling you, it's the best watch. Some of the best watches in the world. It's and with that, like there, there's your and value. they're out there. Yeah, and they're out Love there. It. And go get them. Right? Cool. Yeah, I would say the the moral is buy what you like and buy it from me, not these geezers. <laughs> 